Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, today I've got a open Grand Prix from down at South Coast Karting for you. Um, to start this video, I just want to say what track. Um, I, I approached it looking at it thinking oh, it looks quite small, I don't know, what, don't know if it's going to be that good. And I'm not going to lie, it's possibly the best day of karting I've had since I started karting just under a year ago. Um, as you see, all three races have a little bit of uh, excitement to them, and just the track was—it's small, it's fairly basic, but I found it really, really enjoyable to drive. Just it's, it's got really quick corners. It's got a nice tight, um, sort of tight S bend for the first corner and that, and yeah, it was really, really enjoyable. Um, the format for their Open Grand Prix is you do two heats and then you get put into either a, a B or C final. Um, your heats, you start one from the front, one from the back, so this is my starting from the front, my first heat, uh, starting in third, um, next heat I'll start in 15th, in 15th, and then your positions from um, you finishing in your heats determine which final you go into. Um, and so we had, and there's also you get like a little five minute practice, practice before your first heat. Um, I, felt, I felt quite good in that, I, it didn't help us set off at the front, so it's always hard to judge your pace based off that. But I felt really good. Um, as you're about to see here, I felt a little bit too good. In typical Jack fashion, um, I was a bit too hasty and I knew I thought I need to get past this guy. Just landed on the first corner and that is it's one of the only sort of passing places on the track. Um, which I suppose is a bit of a downside but isn't always terrible. Um, but it is a very, very slippy corner, <laughs> as you can see there. Um, Slump inside. Tires probably just weren't quite warm enough, but even when they were warm, it was slippy and spun out. Um, and with me spinning out, I actually took out two other people. Um, the guy you just saw in the barrier there, um, it's one of the guys that reg races there regularly. And so I felt, I felt really bad about that. Um, but. He's racing. I spoke to him afterwards and he was like, it doesn't matter, just race him. Um, and yeah, so it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't the best start to the heat where I really needed to uh, make the most of my starting position in third. But, oh well, it's you live and you learn. Um, and then, coming up in a minute, you're about to see one of the craziest things I've experienced in karting since I started yet. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't can't say it's a regular occurrence at tracks, but it was um, it was strange to see. So as I just skip ahead in the footage here, you'll see I've caught up with the uh, guys in front, and then going around the fast right hander. If you just watch the guy in the middle, if you watch the left hand side of his car in a minute, you'll see a uh, a nice little wheel come bouncing towards me. Um, it was a very big moment of uh, oh crap, um, and I'm just signalling there to the uh, to the marshal. Um, a wheel would come off. I didn't know how to signal it. I just waved my hand like a wheel would come off, wheel would come off, and then <laughs> breaking. I somehow managed to uh, stop for the red flag, spin out, and beach myself on the curb, um, which, as you'll see in the restart in a second, uh, hindered me a little bit. Um, but it was quite entertaining. So yeah, as you can see here, I uh, I, I kind of didn't really use my brain. I got I got pushed back out of the curb, obviously pushed across the track and what I should have done was uh, just sort of moved forward while under red to straighten myself back up to be facing the right way on the track um, but stupidly I just sat in my position um, which as you'll see when I start off <laughs> it definitely doesn't help um, me to get around the corner um, the other thing that also happened during this was those guys that were in front of me whereas me and the guy behind stopped for the red flags he pointed out to me after race, they're actually pretty much by the start finish line at this point. 
so they carried on going quite a way before they clocked the red flags. Um, yes, as you can see, my, my start is very slow. Uh, just move out of the way and point the guy through. I've already uh, messed up his race once today, so uh, I don't, don't want to do it any further. I thought he races irregularly. I'll, I'll try and I'll try and stick with him and follow him. See what sort of lines he takes and everything. Um, as you can see, he's already pulled out a massive lead on me, um, and now the guy. I believe this was the guy who lost the wheel um, in his new car. He's come past me as well, so I'm pretty certain at this point I'm down in. Uh, I think I must be down in last place. I'm not just sure, um, but yeah, it hasn't been the uh, the best first heat for me so far. In fact, actually, just watching his back for I wasn't I wasn't down into last. I wasn't the guy that lost the wheel. Um, I think there must be someone in between in between us because uh, I definitely didn't come last in this race, but. Um, as you can see, here, I've skipped. I've skipped quite far ahead in the race. Um, I think I should come on to the last lap here uh, in a second. And yeah, I, I just raced on my own for the, for the rest of it. Didn't see anyone. In fact, actually, that's the checker flag. So yeah, it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the best start to the race. And obviously, the second half of that race was quite boring after the uh, wheel incident. Um, but I promise you, the day gets a lot better, a lot better from here. Right, so here we are then, on to uh, Heat 2, and I, I got it wrong at the start of the video. I'm actually starting in 9th out of 13, I don't know why I said 15, because there wasn't even 15 cars. But, um, yeah, so I'm starting 9th, and this this seat is actually, um, I'd say, is a massive turning point in my uh, my karting journey to date. After that first race, I sort of I sat down with the lad whose race had kind of ruined, and we were chatting, and we were talking about how important patience was and how important it was to be patient when you're racing and I realised that sort of when I first started out I was quite patient because I was I was wary that everyone was going to be a lot better than me and that sort of thing and I, I surprised myself by how well I did and so um, but then when I started realising the level I was at I was getting very impatient I was like I need to get past this person, I need to get past this person and not thinking about the fact that actually you got quite a lot of time in a race, and if you follow for long enough, you're gonna someone's gonna make a mistake. Um, and so in this race, I was like, I'm just gonna sort of chill out a little bit, sit back, and just go with the flow. And you see on that first corner, someone got pushed straight into the barrier, and I got quite I got quite lucky bounce off the back of their car, um, which propelled me. Oh, I don't think propelled me sort of in two places, but it that was sort of a sign of things to come for this race. Of, just managing to avoid incident and things turned out alright. Things turned out alright. So as you can see, for the first few laps here I sort of I decided just focus on your own race. Don't worry about the guys in front. If you catch them, deal with it then. Just focus on your own race. Get your braking right, get your lines right around the corner, make sure you're not slamming into the first corner and spinning out. And so I just followed behind nicely, working on I just focused on my own race, not worrying about other people. Um, I actually caught up quite quickly to the back of this guy. Yeah, um, go with one lap. And these sessions were there was a real mix of people. So there was people that um, go quite regularly, and then there was a few people that might have done it a couple of times before, and then there's people that had never done it before. Um, so it's actually a really good mix. And the guy. Um, guy running South Coast Karting and said this is probably one of the best groups he's actually ever had in terms of karting because although there was very different levels there was no real over aggressive bump in and no, no one being an idiot um, so I think that, that played part of it being such a good day um, but yeah as you can see there I made my first overtake of the race the guy made a slight mistake going around his first corner and this did seem to be an area where I made up quite a bit of ground on people um, I don't know if that was just an experience thing or not, but I always seem to make up good ground there in a breaking zone, and um, I think even a little tip for this section before, before the first race, and although that lap I didn't use it, um, I think that helped me quite a bit. But yeah, I sort of caught with these guys quite quickly. I'm up into what fifth place now from starting position of eight or nine. Um, and I actually started in 8 because I think somebody might have gone home after the first heat. So a few people did go home during the day, um, which reduced the numbers and sort of messed up the positions a little bit. 
Um, yeah, here, as you can see, compared to before, where I'd have probably been trying to force the back of these guys, bumping the back of them a little bit to try and eke them out of the corner. I'm just, just sitting behind, just sitting behind being patient, and boom, there we go. Patience paid off. I, if I'd been racing normally, I'd have been on the inside there, going around that corner, and I would have gone into the back of them, and I'd have been stuck. Whereas, patience, I left a little bit of a gap, and managed to get around the outside, which this really set up my race now. And although I lost a little bit of time to the two guys in front, it, uh, well, it's put me up into the podium positions. And so I'm, I'm loving life now. Um, little yellow flag out here, so got to slow down. That's one of the guys that spun out, so I've now lapped him. And that could very easily have been me if, I, uh, if I'd raced how I, how I was racing before. So, yeah, as you can see, I think one of the... Uh, yeah, the, the two leaders have caught up with one of the guys involved and so that adds a little bit to the mix and so while I'm racing now although I was sort of where I was in third at this point I actually still well, I hadn't quite focused on what position I was in and I don't know who that was that spun out so I'm not sure whether that was the guy that spun out before or the guy in second um, so just skipping ahead a few uh, few laps here, you can see the guy in front in with the blue bits of his suit. He is actually the race leader, um, and so the person that spun out on the previous lap was in fact the guy in second place. However, at the time, obviously, as I said, country, I didn't I didn't know who it was, whether it was um, second place or um, the guy that spun out before. And so this guy in front now is a back marker, but I. I am fully aware he doesn't realise that I'm one of the race leaders trying to come through. Um, and so I'm just sort of sitting behind him, I'm not losing too much time on the guys in front. And I know I know that if I force something, it's going to go wrong. I'm in a good position, I'm in, I'm in third, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I'm actually in second, but as, in my head at the time I'm in third, I'm like, this is sweet, this is fine. Um, this is actually the guy that I, I tried to go up the inside of on the uh, first lap of the first heat. So. Um, I didn't want to make the same mistake again. Uh, just falling through on my lock. Every time we go accelerating out of the corner, I'm bumping back of him. He's, he's moved out of the way from me there. Just sort of him. Um, and now I'm now I believe I am chasing second place. I'm uh, here we go. I've got seconds in my sights. So I can get it here. I can get it here. I'm not realising I am second. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I just chase after this guy. I've, I've clocked, I'm, I'm catching fairly quickly, and I'm not actually losing time to the to the leader like I was in the last race when he went past me, where he just he pulled away like mad. Um, I'm actually catching this guy quite quickly. I, I, I've already worked out the sections of the track where I'm I'm quicker than people, um, though I'm taking dodgy lines through there. So just skipping there, there's another lap again here. Um, as you see, another back marker is coming into play, and I've caught this guy. And so I think right here I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shy him inside him, try and sort of scare him a little bit, maybe knock him offline, um, which I managed to do, and get up the inside of him here. Um, yeah, get past him, but he's, he managed to pull away from me a little bit on the straight again. Back of the just not giving it any space, um, but. I know that this back marker is, is not going not to play ball, not going to play ball. And so, and also as I said, I think I'm in third and I'm happy with the podium. Um, and even at this point, I still think I've only come third. Um, but I'll try to get past him on that first corner. So it seems to go in front. And uh, then I get back into the uh, back of the track and I realise, boom, second place, first ever podium. Not gonna lie, I was absolutely buzzing after I realised I, uh, <laughs> I'd finished. I'd finished second. I was happy with the podium anyway, but when I realised I finished second, I was absolutely buzzing. And uh, but then I had the uh, the long wait while the the next heat took place to see if I'd get knocked out of the A final, or if I'd be and start the back, uh, start the back of the A final, or uh, start the front of the B final. But luckily, a few people had gone home, and the A final it was. First ever A final. A day that I never thought would come. Um, 
it turns out that actually uh, a lot of people have gone home so instead of having an A, B and C final we only end up having a B, an A and a B final um, but it meant that I wasn't starting I wasn't starting in last place, I was starting second last um, which is a bit gutting for the poor guy behind me who was originally going to be on pole for the B final um, but gives him a chance of actually winning the trophy by by being in the A final um, so yeah, starting second last, it wasn't ideal I was going into it I'll just see as, do as well as I can. If I get anywhere near a podium, that would be incredible. Um, but there are three lads in here that race race the track regularly. Two of which were starting first and second, um, and the other one was sort of I actually don't know where it is. I think he's maybe fifth. I'm trying to look at the helmets ahead. I think he's maybe starting fourth or fifth. Um, my aim was just to get get to the back of them, and a, a, a top ten would be. A top five would be great. A top ten would be all right. Um, I think I'm starting. I want to say maybe I'm starting twelfth. I can't actually remember. I'm I'm recording this a few weeks, a few weeks after. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, let's let's see how this goes. So starting at the back here, I was fully aware, fully ready for um, a little bit of first corner carnage. Obviously, this this is the race that really means it all. This is this is where the trophies are awarded. Um, and so I was, I was, I was ready for there to be a little bit of uh, pushing and shoving. I'd say going into the first corner. So the lights go here, and I get actually a fairly good launch. Not anywhere near as good as the guy in front. He, he's flown away. Um, I just take it nice and wide around the first corner. Surprisingly, surprisingly clean, which I was not expecting at all. Um, and again, I'm just opting for a bit of patience here. You see, I think going, well, I try to squeeze through the middle, but there was never a car swift in there. Um, but I'm just, again, I'm sort of I'm trying to opt for my patience. You can see this guy here is being very erratic. He's he's really really pushing. And he's making mistakes up on the pit and the curbs and everything like that. And so I'm I'm using my new little my new little patience tactic. And oh, well, it's happened again. Um, He's got in too hard. He's he's done a Jack Craig had passed and pushed the corner way too hard. Spun out. I've gone outside. I've initially lost a place due to sort of slowing down going outside, but I managed to avoid avoid incident, which is always good. Um, however, I've lost quite a bit of time on the guys in front. But similar to the last race, I'm just focusing on myself now, focused on my driver, making sure that I hit my marks and knowing that. At the end of the day, you will you will catch people. If you hit your marks, you, you hit an apex, everything like that. You're gonna you're gonna catch up with the guys in front because they're bound to make a mistake. We're sort of tucking in there to try and get that little bit of little bit of human DRS, a bit of extra speed. Um, come around a yellow flag. They've got a like a virtual safety car system for this track, so they can slow you down, um, slow down certain cars, certain points of the track, and everything like that, which which happened there, as you can see. Because uh, I actually didn't really see the uh, marshal waving the yellow flag at the time, and the guy on the inside of what's well, a fairly quick corner. Um, but with that, I think the guys in front got to slow down a little bit more, and I've I've gained a bit of ground, gained a bit of ground on them. Um, so I'm just skipping ahead a lap now. Um, the chase is really on at this point, and I've, I've made quite a quite a lot of ground on this guy in one lap. Um, you see someone going wide there, so that's another place gained. Um, Slow down this guy a little bit from avoiding it. Um, yeah, I'm right behind him, he's gone defensive. I accidentally, actually, at the time, I didn't realise I'd done it. Um, and you could, you could argue it was his defensive driving. I gave him a slight little tap gun into that corner. Um, and, well, I'll let you guys decide whether it caused him to spin out. I think he'd have spun out anyway. Because uh, he's trying to, trying to break late and as we know from first heat, that doesn't work too well there. Um, he wasn't too happy with me, but I gained a place and lost a place at the same time in that incident. Um, obviously, I've known this guy's already made a mistake. You can see him there, sort of sliding around those corners. Probably still got a little bit of dirt on his tyres from going wide before. Um, so I'm right, right, up, right behind him again now, which is good. However, I'm looking ahead, and you can see the massive gap in front of us to everyone else. Again, he's made a mistake on the same corner and. Got round him. 
Nice easy overtake that one. And now I'm back on the chase. You can't see the guys in front, they're miles ahead at the moment. And so, just knuckling down and just concentrating. Driving my race, a little glance to see where they are. Miles away, Jack. They are miles away, mate. Um, so again, tucking in, trying to get a little bit of extra. Just uh, extra st streamlined. Try and get a bit more pace. Does it work? Does it not work? Who knows? Um, so just skipping in sort of maybe 10 laps or so here. I've uh, managed to catch this group in front. A uh, pack of four carts. The guy right at the front is um, one of the regulars, which was I was quite surprised to see him back this far. Um, speaking to him afterwards, I yeah, he's a tatter. His cart wasn't the best. Let me just say that. Obviously they're, they're all equal, uh, in theory, but... Yeah, so his cart wasn't the best, so he was still bad with these guys, but as always, when you get a, a pack of carts, everyone, they're all fighting with each other, and you see here, this guy in front makes a mistake, I get right at the back of him there, and they give him a little bump around the corner. Um, so this plays into my advantage massively, being the guy at the back, they're all fighting each other, defending from each other, you see here, he makes a, again makes another mistake, and I managed to get up the inside. Um, but now I'm now I'm in the middle and now I'm fighting. I've got to worry about defending from him while trying to attack the guy in front. But all he's got to do is attack. So um, yeah, I'm in a troublesome position here. And as you can see, this guy goes wide and cuts across me, and that bit, and that really knocks my momentum. Similar to what happens to the guy behind on the lap before, how I got past him. So I come in here, I give him plenty of space on the inside, knowing he's there. And look what he does. Boom! Yeah, I'm a dick. Drives just straight into the wall. Um, and as you can see, I, I am not impressed. Um, and the marshals, it's, it's that was the, I want to say that was the second last lap. Um, and so now I've gained all those positions and lost them all again. I'm down, down in last, I'm stuck under the tyres. And yeah, I was not happy, um, as you can hear uh, from what I, I'd have bleeped it out. But I was, I was absolutely fuming, and then you can see I'm <laughs> not happy with him there. A few hand signals and that, but I, I'll put it down to just inexperience. Um, my main annoyance was I gave him so much room to get past, and then he just didn't give me anything. And so, and obviously it ruined my race. Um, came second last, but it wasn't done one day. It was. Again, as I said, possibly the best day karting I've had for a very, 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 very long time. Um, getting that second second place was amazing. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a nice entertaining end there. Um, even if it wasn't entertaining in the right way. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And my next one is definitely, definitely one not to miss. Just Going back to what I said about patience, next video, patience is key. Thanks very much, guys. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you next time.